Contractor is prepping the Mississippi River Bridge up in Lansing for more repairs. Remember, the bridge has been closed since February 25th when engineers say they found unexpected movement in a couple of those old bridge piers. The bridge more than 100 years old. They said it made it unsafe for any travel at this point. KWW reporter Daniel Pro joins us live here in the studio with plans on how they're going to get this thing done and get the traffic moving again, Daniel. Ron, those emergency repairs can start as soon as next week. They're expected to take about two months. The issue is on the south side of the bridge. You can see it here where all those cranes are set up. They're preparing to start that repair work and getting materials and equipment that they need in place to make those repairs. Those cranes will remove the spans and deck and then swing them off to the side, leaving big gaps in the bridge surface. Crews then plan to break apart the existing concrete support structures called piers and build new steel piers underneath. The foundations will be deeper on rock. When the work is done, crews will lift the deck back into place on top of the new piers. The DOT has been working with engineering firms to study the structural integrity and stress on that bridge. It's not clear what caused the movement of the piers. It is if it's from a construction or the adjacent new bridge or something else. After they completed that model, it was determined that the steel superstructure of the bridge, the steel truss that the deck sits on, was uh, still in functional shape. It, it, it had not received any permanent damage due to the movement of the piers underneath. So it's still in, in a serviceable condition. The repair work will not affect the construction. It will continue throughout on the new adjacent bridge. The DOT says it has no concerns about new piers moving during the construction. They say they've done two test piers in the river and had no movement. If we take the deck off of the existing bridge, we're not as concerned with some of those substructures moving. So we're going to try to get as much of the construction of the existing bridge done while the contractor is working on the repair. The bridge has connected Iowa and Wisconsin since 1931. It's lightweight and narrow design, the DOT says, allows them to lift those spans up and make the repairs, something they say they could actually not do on a modern bridge because it is heavier and has more concrete. To get to Wisconsin now, you have to drive either 40 minutes north or south to either La Crosse or Prairie du Chien. The DOT says it's currently working to set up a van carpool to help people get around this detour that could start as early as next week. They're also looking to get a water taxi going so people can cross the river in Lansing, but the DOT says it will not reopen the bridge until it is safe to do so. They hope that will happen by late April.